Brother Banner. Good morning, brother. How you doing, man? Man, just trying to figure it out, bro. You did. Yeah. So yeah, man, I was really just up, man, speaking with the people, man. Kind of yeah. frustrated. Um and you know, seeing the agenda of 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 the oppressor mm -hmm. and see just the plans of manipulation play out in front of our faces the way mm -hmm. they the way they are without any covert like operation at all. It's just it's just, you know, in your face. You know what I'm saying? We, we we know you guys are the most affected. We know that you guys already have pre existing conditions that cause you, you know what I'm saying, to perish at a higher, more alarming rates than everyone else. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna say fuck that. <clears throat> y'all get y'all ass on back out there yeah. and we'll just sort y'all deaf side later. Now when somebody says that and does that in your face, well first of all, you must appreciate their candor. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you must appreciate the fact that oh well, at least you're you know honest enough to do this right in front of my face where I can really see how you feel or where we are. But after we peak game, and I may say, well, you know what, you can open things back up, but our influence with our people, our connection with our people, is going to. Uh, uh, allow us a certain level of influence. You tell people, nah, it ain't time yet. Y'all chill out. And once we do that, and everyone else in the country who have, you know, fair and decent minds to think with, they agree with us. And now that they see that, see that opening up of Georgia has, back, has backfired politically, uh, and which negatively impacts their agenda. Now, they're resorting to, to cheap tricks, fear, and intimidation. Like, you know, uh, sending the mayor and her family disrespectful, threatening messages on their cell phone, which is equivalent right now to burning a cross in front of somebody's house. You did. Um, and, you know, the first thing I just wanted to the first thing I feel everyone should know, that shit ain't going to be accepted or tolerated, man, because she is the mayor. You know, she has the authority uh, to act on our behalf. We have entrusted her with that authority, and we're going to ride on her call. Mm -hmm. However, she our sister first. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'll come say. with that bullshit about our sister, and, well, it's going to be out my hands at that point. But it'll be in somebody's hands. Well, and well, I mean, I just—it's—I'm frustrated, man. I want you to speak, man. Talk some sense into me, man. <laughs> yeah, you know why me and you friends, bro. We <laughs> we help keep each other. We we have a tendency to teeter. Yeah. Okay. But but what I'll say, bro, I I don't see any reason to talk any sense into you because you damn right. And I and I I think in so many cases, um, we're not mad, and that's part of the problem. Um, let's not talk about the fact that she the mayor. That's our sister. That's you know, that's that, that's our mother. That's our auntie. And in in too many cases, we have allowed not just the black man and the black black child, but more specifically the black woman, right? Um, to 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 be the the white man symbol to do whatever they want to with, and we're not going for that shit. Right and 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 I uh, I like to thank you and salute you for for getting up and shaking us all, you know, to remind us because sometimes we become we see it so much on movies, you know. Yeah. I see so many agendas on just about everything that I watch, man. That we become um, desensitized True. to the stuff that they're doing, and I can't imagine the, I can't imagine the pressure that she's under because. I think they've been experimenting with our people from day one. Absolutely. And, and, and you know, regardless of how we feel individually, part of the problem is that we, we are so dissected in the, in the moves that we make. And regardless of how you feel, we have to create a united front. And we got to stand with that system. Not, right. just, not just politically, but, but physically. 
Because I right. think one of the things that they're doing with this pandemic is testing, you know, the the uh, uh, America in general to see how they react in any situation. True. So what needs to, what needs to go on is people need to know, however y'all do it, we, we're we not taking no disrespect, not for her. That's right. You know? I agree. I, I mean, I, I totally agree. And I, I mean, I also, I really want, I want our people to see what we see. Mm -hmm. I want our people to see what we see. Uh, but of course, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was taught this, you know, that, that, that you wake a person up too fast, too soon, they're going to want to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just because, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, they have to get their bears. Yeah. And Tip, it took a long time for me and you to get our bearers too. <laughs> I'm still getting mad. We <laughs> but, but I think that um it is it, it it's imperative that we understand, man, that right now ain't the time to put our, our leisure and our comfort mm -hmm. uh before the safety and and health and wellness. And the, of the greater good of others. Like, we got to consider the most vulnerable in this situation. Um, and, and and people in the, in the comments that are asking solutions, very simple, man. Just stay home, man. I mean, do what you've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Just don't go, like, ain't no need to, ain't no need to be, to be going out and, and mixing, grouping and, and gathering. There's no need to do that. You dig what I'm saying? If that's what you if that's what you do, then you showing a blatant disregard for the health and wellness of the vulnerable, the most vulnerable ones of our people in our community. And we can't afford to we can't afford to do that. None of us can. And even and even if that's what you decide to do, don't make it be publicly known. Like that's true. like right now, we need solidarity, and we know there's gonna be those that do what they do. Like keep your phones off, man. I I I think we 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 are turning into dry snitches without knowing it. Just cause you doing something don't mean the whole world got to do it. Yeah. Right now, that sister has made a decision. She is our leader. So regardless of how we feel personally, right, do what you do. But it don't have you don't have to let the world know because what you do is right. if you do that, then you show white supremacy without you even knowing that you standing in line with them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. keep it to yourself. Yeah, but you know, we not. I, I, I mean, you see, I think one one thing that's important to know, right? Mm -hmm. See, a coward is gonna send a message mm -hmm. when you don't like. He gonna throw a rock and hide his hand. Mm -hmm. He gonna send a message with no direction pointed back at him. See, I'm putting my face on this shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, this shit. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Man, we ride with Keisha. So everything that we, everything that we do, bro, we put our face on it. That's what I tell absolutely. You. Every move that we make, everything that we say, we we got we can't hide from being tip and bam. Everything nah. that we do, you know. And and I, I want people to know after all this is over, we still got to stand on it. That's right. Regardless, we got to live with everything that we do and say. And and just because you may not be in the position of of light like we are, you got to stand on what you say too. You yeah. got to use this opportunity. I posted something this morning. I said, um, "Don't don't rush to go back to sleep." <laughs> and what I mean by that is this pandemic has 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 offered a lot of our people opportunity to see that it's some shit that ain't right. That's right. You know. That's real. And, and don't rush to go back to that same old shit because we see that this shit is broken. That's right. So so take your time. Like, this is an yeah. opportunity for us to rest, get our shit together, strategize right. and plan. Because you know, you know we've been doing that. So, yeah. it's, you know, as long as we can do that, as long as we can start figuring this shit out, man, and implement some stuff when this shit do wake um, open back up, that's what we need yeah. to do. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense, bro. And uh, the one thing we can't afford to do is nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't have the luxury of just sitting around and doing absolutely nothing. 
Yeah. You did. If you know you, if you know, like for instance, some people have to. You know, they don't have. You know the way they the way they situation set up. They got they got to go to work every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They may be essential workers. Uh, they may be um, you know in a in a in a financial situation that doesn't allow them necessarily to to, to to sit tight like everybody else, and that's understandable. But look, man, make sure, man, you drink warm liquids. You know what I'm saying? Like, have, have you some tea three times a day, man. Drink room temperature water, man, here 20 minutes, man, so you can go. You got to get yourself together. Take you some some, some elderberry, some zinc, vitamin C, mm -hmm. vitamin D. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself together, man. Boost hey, your immune system. I want to tell y'all something. To add on to what Tim, a lot of the stuff that, that, that Dr. Sebe and Dr. Africa have been teaching us, I cook with it now. Like, I, right. I put it in everything that I do. You know what I'm saying? It's like we are being ready for this shit. It's going to happen again. Mm. I mean, economically. I mean, physically. Right. All the shit that we learning now that we need to do because we have to, we got to keep this shit going. It has to become a lifestyle. Right. You know, I, 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 t I told people about, you know, don't donate money to causes. I said, yeah, we should donate money to causes that's happening now, but we need to hold some back. So that when this shit happen again, we're already prepared for it. Because we know these folks playing with us, man. That's right. You know? That's real. So, you know, start doing this shit every day, even when there is a pandemic, and building up your immune system. So regardless of what happens, it is what it is. Yeah, man. And don't switch sides. Whatever you do, just understand what side you riding on. Understand what yeah. side you riding on. Understand what your side doing, what we we done already we done already said with the player. So we done called the play. Mm -hmm. Don't be intimidated. You know what I'm saying? Don't get shook. You know what I mean? Don't goddamn change the don't call the audible after we done broke out the huddle, man. This is what we doing, all right? We sitting mm -hmm. tight until further notice and shit. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody who ain't gonna be impacted the same way you and your community gonna be impacted tell you to do anything otherwise. You understand mm -hmm. that? You let them take their goof ass out there to the beaches. You let them take their asses and fill up the casino. You let them take their asses uh, out there in, in, in the barbershops and shit, man. Let them do that. When you, when Kemp, when Kemp walk his family out there, you know what I'm saying, I be sitting my ass right home with TV laughing at their head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think everybody else should take that same approach, bro. Man, yeah. don't, be no, don't be no duck. Don't be no duck, no guinea pig, man. No motherfucking goofy for nobody. And what I say, man, this shit is bigger. You know, I, I keep telling people this is bigger than, than COVID, bro. This is about solidarity. You know, regardless of what you feel person, personally, part of the problem is that our community is already too dissected. Right. So that if she's the one that we elected and our generals say move, that's how that's we right. move. Yeah, without question. We move. Without question, man. Um, I mean, man, so did you see the clip? There's a clip out, right? Um, mm -hmm. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it may be Anderson Cooper. Uh, and he was interviewing the mayor of Las Vegas, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so I believe the, the, the mayor of Las Vegas was <laughs> trying to justify and rationalize her position as to why she felt the casinos and hotels and you know the the tourism of las vegas should reopen mm -hmm. and he basically stated the facts and said well you know people are gathering they're all touching slot machines they're all breathing in circulated air it's not anderson cooper okay cool well, please correct me let me know who it was uh anyway and you know uh and, and just talk about how it's a petri dish for the mm -hmm. virus to spread, not only within Las Vegas, but people who travel to Las Vegas will travel back to their cities and countries and continue, you dig what I'm saying, to, to further spread this virus. Mm -hmm. And she, it, ultimately she said, it's not her responsibility to let them figure it out. <laughs> let the people, <laughs> let, the, let the people who out there figure it out. Okay, now, that takes me back to the old phrase, you keep watching the person long enough, they will show you who they are. If you listen to a person long enough, they will tell you exactly what it is 
you should know. And that's how they feel. Let them figure that. Okay, cool, y'all. We figuring it out. Y'all sit y'all in there. Yeah, what, what, what I'll say, bro, is it just surprises me how every time white people as a whole, I don't mean individuals, I mean as a whole, they have always moved a certain way. Yeah. And every time something happens, I don't understand why we can't pull together as a whole and see that there's a systemic problem. Right. Default these folks ain't a move no different. It's about it's about finances. You know, when when when, when people talk about uh um reforming uh the jail system, well it was never about justice for them. It was about free labor. Right. The thirteenth Amendment. Right. You know, these, you know, when 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 the governor decided to open the state up, he opened places that people like us frequent more. Right. Like you said, it's not it's not hard. It's easy to see. Right. So understanding that, it shows that it's always been a plan for us. America wasn't built for us; it was built on top of us. That's real. So so those of us who know better, bro. Um, that's why I respect what you're doing so much, bro. You taking your platform and opening it up so your people can see. Yeah. You I know? mean, if they ain't seeing it, I'm just I'm just putting it in their faces. It default, they showing it to the governor of Texas said there are more important things than living. Now that's a true ass statement. But if I die, it ain't gonna be on no bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? If I die, man, it, it can't just be just, you know goofy you know what i'm saying they're gonna have to be for a purpose yeah. you're gonna have to be for a cause and i'm gonna have to take three on with me <laughs> you know what i'm saying and 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 the thing is what 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 i what i'm trying to get our people to see is is we have to stop treating our lives the same way that they believe uh, uh our or, or, the, or the or we have to stop treating our lives the way that they think the value of our lives are right what i mean by that man is like Bro, for, for, for people to say, and I saw it in one of your comments, like, bro, when when they open up the stuff that's important to them, then that's one thing. But when you when you outwardly see that they're experimenting with our people and they're experimenting with people that look like us, right? we have to move different. That's real. <clears throat> that's real. It's the, it's, the, it's the Tuskegee experiment all over again. You know and and be, cl be clear with the Tuskegee experiment. What a lot of people don't know is that wasn't a side company. That was the United States government. Yes. So, experiment on our people. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and injected. And the people thought they were getting free health care. Yep. Okay. Poor people in Tuskegee, Alabama, thought they were getting free health care from the government. The United States government. They gave them vaccines and injections yep. that later gave them, was it syphilis, herpes? No, syphilis. It was syphilis. It was syphilis. They gave, they gave them syphilis for generations and, and, and caused, caused deformities in their bodies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With no reparations now. Mm -hmm. yep. that, and, and, and these are the same people that put smallpox in the place of Native yeah. Americans. For the trail of tears, and, and, and that's why when, when when people talk and say that 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 we're conspiracy theorists, I then turn around and say, "How is it a conspiracy theory theory when I can prove to you that it happened?" That's right. I can give you actual facts. I don't deal in theory. That's right. You know, the only time that I talk in theory is when I see what can happen. Mm -hmm. What I can put together what has happened in the past, and I can see what can happen in the future. And, and and we don't seem to, to, to listen. I told somebody something, Tip, and, and, and I think it relates to you also, bro. I said, as much as I would like to talk about Jesus, right? But when people do the same thing that Jesus did, we put them on the cross before our oppressors do. What you're yeah. doing now is Jesus' life. You're warning the people. Yeah. You're, you're illuminating yeah. the people to what can happen to them if they move in the wrong way. And if people don't listen, then that's on them. You shall perish. <laughs> and not just you. For a lack of, for a lack of. <laughs> you shall surely perish. You know what I'm saying? But not just you, bro. Your, your, your Nana 
and your aunties and your uncles and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, why in the fuck would you even put them in at risk and in danger in that way? Um, uh, uh, over, uh, over, over stuff that usually means nothing. You know, if you out here trying to make sure that your employees can eat or your employees got a job or something like that, I, I understand your hustle and your grind, but 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 just just to get back to something that means nothing in the first place is a problem, bro. Yeah.